Well, the winds are much lighter here at the Christie Mountain Wildfire just south of Penticton. They've switched 180 degrees from yesterday, which brings its own set of challenges. With the cold front going through yesterday, we saw winds coming from the south pushing north. Now we're seeing them switch 180 from the north, northwest, pushing, pushing south, southeast. Where the winds are pushing back into now, although they are lighter, it is a heavier fuel load. So that's one of the things that we are concerned about. We'll heavily be utilizing our aviation fleet as well as our air tankers to try to stop any growth, but that's something that we're, we're definitely keeping an eye on. So we're gonna have a different wind direction. It's gonna challenge our lines in areas that we weren't initially seeing, but um, it's also in a direction that is favorable as far as community. More than 100 municipal firefighters from across BC were sent home this morning after Penticton Fire Chief Larry Watkinson determined there was no more risk to homes in the area. But Toad and Sherbeau says the evacuation orders and alerts will remain in place for the time being. We are looking at that uh, daily when we can downgrade the evacuation order to an alert. We're looking at it throughout the day. We're running growth projection models with our fire behavior analysts and uh, we're, we're looking at the work that's been done on the ground. Um, we haven't lifted the order because we haven't felt 100% comfortable yet, and when we do, we will. Um, it's, it, we don't want to be premature on this. For Castanet News here in Penticton, I'm Nick Johansson.